Okay, here's that video about my rocket mass heater where I make the big decision. I like a rocket ma a mass heater. Uh, I think if you you live in a house that's um, you know 500 to 800 square feet, that it would do the job. Um, I like everything about it. I like the storage of the heat and the mass. Um, I like watching it. I don't mind feeding it. I've had a few problems. Uh, uh, the longer uh, sticks, uh, the longer wood that goes into the feed tube, the uh, fire has a tendency to go up to the top of the stick or wood and um, you know it doesn't get sucked down into the uh, system. Uh, smoke, a little bit of smoke comes up and when that happens I usually put a metal plate over the feed tube area and that makes the um, uh, opening you know smaller and so more air goes in faster and that gets it back sucking good again and until the fire is uh, lower and I don't have to worry about that. The downside to that is uh, is that um, because of the excess heat when I do that it actually cracked, cracked the ceramic surround um, so now I have a crack in part of the uh, rocket mass heater. Um, I, it's not that big a deal, I don't think, to fix it, but it just goes to show you, you know, some things that you do have repercussions. Uh, but anyway, I mean, I like it, but I think uh, the problem is I've been using my Fisher wood heater for five years. I can build a fire, light a match, forget about it for 30 to 40 minutes. And then uh, I usually come back and, you know, coals and just rekindle the fire when I remember and think about it. And it's right in the middle of the house, and so it really heats things up really good. And uh, I think while I'm trying to... See, I still have rooms that are open that I, want, that I can't close off. Uh, that's one of the big problems with this. If I had my, uh, the walls up, I wouldn't have to be heating those rooms. And so, uh, and I would have about 800 square feet, but until I get that done, because I still live in a construction zone, because I still have that to do, and I'm still using the room on the other side of the house as my living room, this eventually will be my living room, uh, but it isn't now. But once I get those things done and I can close the house off more, so during the winter time, I'm really only using about 800 square feet of the house. I actually think I might go back and try, you know, revisit a rocket mass heater to see if it would work for me. I think it would in that case. In the particular case that I'm in now, where I'm really heating a lot more of the house uh, for convenience and a lot of other reasons, I'm probably going to stay with my Fisher uh, wood heater. <clears throat> um, I'm not discouraged about using a rocket mass heater. I just think right now, um, you know, it's not working as efficiently for me. I uh, documented the day, or I've, I've fired it a few times, and uh, one day I documented um, hourly, you know, what the temperatures were throughout the house. And by the end of the night, the temperatures were uh, about 80, you know, 76 to 80 degrees in different parts of the house, which is fantastic. But it took from 5.30 to 10.30 for that to happen. Uh, with my Fisher wood heater, gosh, it, it's nice and warm where I'm at, where I'm sitting watching TV or whatever, uh, really within an hour or so. And so, um, like I said, I think uh, for the time being, for me, my wood heater is going to be my primary uh, source of heat. And I'll revisit my rocket mass heater at a later time. Anyway, uh, if you have any questions or suggestions or anything like that, uh, let me know. All right. Have a good one.